Yo, what's going on everybody? Mr. Tech right here. And today we're going to talk about should you buy more storage for your MacBook or your Mac Mini or should you buy an external SSD? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this out the way. I honestly believe you should buy a little bit of both. So you should upgrade the storage in your MacBook. You shouldn't go with the base model and you should also get an external SSD. And I'm going to go ahead and explain that but I'm basically going to talk about the pros and cons to both. So first off, the pro with the MacBook Air, if you go ahead and buy the storage now, let's say you get 512, one terabyte, or even two terabytes, yes, you're going to spend a little bit more money, but you're going to get more performance out of the drive. The read and write speeds on this MacBook are crazy. I did a speed test earlier, and this is with the 256 gig uh, SSD that's on board. I was getting anywhere from 1700 to 2100 as far as the read or write speed. Now, that may make sense for you. That may not mean anything to you, but it is part of the specs. And I think it's one of the reasons why we pay so much more money for the SSDs inside of these computers. Now, yes, you could probably throw in a little bit of Apple tax and the fact that you can't upgrade it later, and that's why Apple is charging you more, but you can't deny the performance that you're getting out of the SSD as far as the read and write speeds. The faster you can read and write to your computer, you should be able to transfer stuff to your computer faster, so yada yada such and such. That's basically the gist with the MacBook. Now, the other pro with this is the fact that you don't have to worry about running out of space if you add more space to your MacBook. There's a lot of people out there that frankly just don't use an external SSD. They just wanna pick up their MacBook and they wanna take it with them, whether they're on a flight or in a car or whatnot, they don't wanna worry about storage, so it makes more sense for them to go ahead and buy more storage for the computer. Now, the con is the fact that you have to basically pay two, four, six, or even $800 on top of what you're already paying for the MacBook or the Mac Mini. In other countries, the storage you know, option to add on to this can actually cost more, so it probably makes more sense for you to go with an external SSD. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the external SSD. The external SSD is cheap, it's convenient. The fact that if anything happens to this, I can go out and buy another one the same day, they're pretty common. I can actually probably get about eight of these for the cost of what it costs to get two terabytes. And I can have way more storage. I can have time machine backups on different drives. I can basically take this drive, give it to someone else. They can copy their files or whatever they need. And so basically this is more of a convenience as far as, you know, just having an external drive and it being small and you can take it with you. Now the cons are the fact that with these external SSDs, even though that this is a T7 and I have the newest MacBook Air, this SSD is far slower than the SSD that's gonna come with this MacBook Air. Now, does it really matter? That all depends on you. If you go ahead and you, you do a speed test on here, you'll see that you'll get anywhere between 600 to 700 megabytes write speed. Now, for most people, that's gonna be awesome. For most video editors, if you even decide to video edit off of a MacBook Air, it should be completely fine. But that's just something I have to mention between you know the differences between these two. The other thing that you have to worry about is the fact that now your MacBook Air is no longer a one piece type of thing. Now there's all this extra stuff you have to carry. So beyond having the MacBook and the charging cable and the charging brick, now you have an SSD, now you have an extra cord that you have to carry with you. And just for the sake of convenience, and I'm gonna plug this up, I'm gonna plug this up real time so you guys can see this. For you to use your SSD with your MacBook, it has to always be connected. So one of the things I like to do is I like to get up and I like to take my MacBook with me. If I'm in the middle of editing or if I have files on here that I need to use and keep on here, but I don't want to put them on my MacBook because I don't have enough storage. Now I have to get up and I have to take this whole thing with me. I just, I just can't, you know, grab my computer by itself. I have to take this whole 
thing with me and have it be cumbersome or whatnot. Now, the other thing that you may run into, let's say if you're a forgetful person or you're somebody that's trying to minimize down on the amount of stuff that you have, this is an extra thing. This is an extra thing for you to leave behind at the hotel. This is an extra thing for you to leave behind at home, leaving your car, wherever you could forget the, you could forget the cord. There's so many different things that can happen with you forgetting this. So that is something else that you need to take into consideration. If you lose stuff, it might not be a good idea for you to get this. It might be a better idea for you to get the extra storage, but that is a whole nother discussion. And that basically leads me to the reason why you should get both. You should get some more storage inside the MacBook if you're worried about space. Plus, it's future proofing because who knows, is 256 gigs really going to be enough for you in, let's say, 2025, 2026, maybe even in 2030 if you decide to keep the laptop that long? I mean, that's a question that you need to ask. Also, it kind of makes sense to have an external SSD just to back up your files, just to make sure you have a time machine backup. Yes, you can, you know, back up stuff to the cloud or you could back up stuff with Google Drive, iCloud or whatever, but... I don't necessarily trust all that sometimes. I would rather have a physical backup. And it also helps when you can kind of run certain very large programs off of a very small and cheap SSD. So, I mean, to me, that seems like the best way to go. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But um, as far as this SSD goes, just to let you guys know, uh, once again, this is the T7. This is the 500 gig. I got it for around $79. There's an Amazon link down below. I also have Amazon links for the one terabyte and two terabyte if you guys want to go ahead and pick those up. Just to let you guys know I get a small kickback if you buy one. But if you don't buy one, that's fine. That's totally cool. I don't mind. But yeah, pretty much you get blue, red, and silver, I believe, or a black or um, some sort of color like that. But yeah, you also get the USB-C cable with this and you get a USB-C to USB-A. So that's basically it. Hopefully that helps you guys try to figure out which one of these you guys should get. Like I said, you probably should get both, you know, get a little more storage, get some external storage. That way, you know, life can be better on both ends. So let me know down in the comment section below, which one are you getting? Are you getting more storage or are you getting external storage? So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take it easy. Peace.